Allison, is this kind of a preview of things to come? I mean, get involved to you inside as well as left? We have a very veteran post group. Like, we're really proud of how, how much experience we have game experience. I mean, we're small, there's only four of us, but we're really proud of the veteran post group, and we're looking to make not just me, but everyone more of an option this year to get it down low, and hopefully when we get it down low, it'll free up people like Chrissy Steffen, who's an outstanding guard, that might get her more shots if we start being more productive down low. Mm -hmm. Has that been a point of emphasis in practice? Yes, Coach Roos has definitely emphasized getting the ball into the post, you know, just developing our plays a little bit more to be able to see what's open down low as opposed to just shooting the three if you have it when you might have an easier 50% layup as opposed to a 30% three. Is that a difference from when Coach Miller was here when, I mean, terrific perimeter players the whole time? We've always had terrific perimeter players, and I think it's really just noticing where our strength is. Because, like, when it was Allie May and Liz Honiger, the, those were all four and five players, right. and that was definitely the emphasis to get them the ball. I just think it's where the strength is. In the past few years, like, we've had good post groups, but we've never had the game experience like we have now. Mm -hmm. Like, you look at our post group, uh, Jill Stein, Alexis Rogers, Danielle Havel, and myself, are all very experienced. I mean, we're all juniors and up, up to a fifth year senior. So we have that experience and we've been around the system that that's one of the things that she can look to and know that she's got us there for her. What, uh, what else can you take from a team <coughs> like this as a team? Some of the positive you can take and then probably some of the negatives that the coaches have to point out to you. Well, some of the positives were we really, really wanted to start off strong and make a statement. We wanted we wanted to prove that we're still Bowling Green. Just because Coach Miller left, we're still Bowling Green and not that much has changed. And so that I think that helped and we were we pushed the ball really well. We were, our transition game was definitely one of the things that was very good. And the coaches want the coaches wanted this to be about us. They wanted like Slipper Rock has 17 players on roster. There's not many of them from last year. And so we didn't really know that much about this team as opposed to other teams where I can tell you every single player on their roster, what hand they like to use to drive. And so this was more about us learning, you know, learning experience. We, our younger kids got the chance to step out and see what it's like to play with, the, with Bowling Green on the front of your jersey. It was really important. Negatives, I mean, we obviously, we have to keep playing defense. Like, defense will be tough. We gave up shots at the end that I think we just got tired. And we gave up quite a few points at the end of the game that we shouldn't have. Any other questions for Allison? Ben, you still look really good. <laughs> yeah.